Hello everyone and welcome to this video matter and classification of mixture. I will provide a link in the description of the video for downloading the material. Now first let's introduce the matter itself. What is matter? Matter it is any substance that has mass and take up a space. And uh, uh, so it has this mass, volume, uh, this is why it take, uh, takes up a space. Similar uh, example for that, argon gas takes up the space of the uh, bulb uh, or uh, such as sulfur or carbon dioxide. All those are gases and they are taking up space around us. Uh, also, there are uh, other examples uh, for matter. Anything around you, a uh, bottle of water, the water itself is a matter, and the bottle, the plastic bottle, is a matter. Now, let's look at the classification of matter. We classify the matter into either pure substances or non-pure substances. Our pure substances will be the mixture. They are mixed together with different ratios and they can be further classified into homogeneous or heterogeneous. Now you think about your cup of tea, it is mixed uh, out of sugar, tea and water. When you look at your uh, uh, cup of tea, you can just uh, either add one of, uh, uh, sugar or two or three. In that case, you can just change the ratio of your uh, mixture. The uh, pure uh, substances, on the other hand, have a certain definite ratios. They have this chemical properties throughout the substance and uh, they can be either elements or compounds. For the pure substance, it has a certain ratios. Similar uh, example for that, if I looked at water itself, it is composed of two atoms, two hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. Uh, any type of water, such as liquid water, if I have uh, liquid water, uh, it has the same composition. If I have ice, it has the same composition. And if I have vapor, it has the same composition. So the composition of water itself doesn't uh, and uh, doesn't it change when it changed uh, when it changes its state now let's look at the pure uh, matter it can be classified like we said into elements or compounds now if i looked at the element it can be further classified into atom or molecule uh, if it is made out of the com uh, if the composition is made out of one single atom such as in case of gold or argon in that case, we will consider it to be atom. But if I have a group of atoms, uh, similar atoms binded together, we will consider it to be molecule. So, and here, the definition of molecule uh, uh, for the elements, it's a group of similar atoms. So I have example in here, uh, oxygen gas is made out of uh, two oxygen atoms binded together through a double bond. Now, if I looked at sulfur, I have eight. So I have here S8. This means I have eight atoms binded together to form the sulfur. Now, if I looked at the compound, we can classify it into the, uh, the compound into also molecule, but in that case, my group will be different type of atoms. So here I said a group of similar atoms. In here, I will say group of different atoms. Uh, example for that, water molecule. In that case, I have two uh, hydrogen atoms binded to one oxygen atom. And the composition of uh, carbon dioxide gas is also considered to be a molecule because you have this one carbon atom binded to two uh, oxygen atoms. Now, the compound can be also classified into ions. And those ions, some, uh, example for that, the uh, sodium chloride, when you dissolve it into water, it dissociates into uh, cation, which is the sodium ions, and an ion, which is the chlorine ions. Now, if I looked into the mixture, it is non-pure substance. And uh, if I uh, use different ratios, I have different mixture. Uh, so, the mixture itself can be either homogeneous, completely uniform, or it can be heterogeneous. If I looked at the uniform uh, substance, in that case, it will be harder to separate them using physical methods. 
think about your cup of tea again. If you looked at the sugar, the tea, and the water, you cannot just separate them by physical means. The heterogeneous mixture can be separated uh, easily by uh, mechanical means. So if you looked at the oil, water, and mud, it's considered to be heterogeneous. If you, so if you uh, pour out the oil first, you will uh, 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 get rid of the oil, then you have the water, and then you can separate it from the mud if you just filtrate. Now the homogeneous mixture, the properties of homogeneous mixture, like we said before, it is uh, uniform, and we classify them into or we name homogeneous mixture to be solution. Uh, uh, example for that also not your just a cup of tea, but you have also the uh, sea water. So the sea water uh, we consider it to be a solution of salts and water. Homo homogeneous mixture cannot be separated by physical means. And example for that, tea water and sugar or sea water also is another example of um, homogeneous mixture or what we call it solution. Now moving to the heterogeneous mixture, it's ca it can be further classified into suspension or colloid. Suspension, when you could see a large particles which is kept inside your uh, um, mixture, and in that case, it's just if you uh, shake your uh, mud and water, you could see that the water is completely turbid, but if you leave it uh, for a little while, it will settle out. So the suspension can settle out. Your particles are large and they can settle out uh, over a time, but colloids cannot settle out uh, and example for that milk or gelatin when you leave the milk or gelatin for a long time it's, it stays the same your mixture is completely mixed together and no uh, settle out of uh, particles of, uh, of uh, milk from the water so it is completely mixed uh, mixed the whole time this is why we call it colloid so colloid cannot settle out but uh, uh, suspension can settle out now, again, uh, this is a summary. You have the mixture, either it is homogeneous or heterogeneous. If it is homogeneous, example for that, salt water, mouthwash, all alloys are considered to be homogeneous. If it is liquid, we will consider them to be solutions. Now, uh, for the heterogeneous mixtures, they are either pizza, Italian salad, dressing, solid waste dump, all of those can uh, be considered to be heterogeneous mixture. The heterogeneous mixture, if it is settled uh, out, we will call it suspension. If it doesn't settle out, we will consider it to be colloid. By that, we came to the end of our video. Until next video, thank you and goodbye.